Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. And I'm from New Zealand. We are back with a PayPal request for my good buddy, Mike Gammon. Mike, how are you out there? Gonna read out the message. Hey, Andrew, I just sent you two PayPals. One is I... Ay 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 ye. By Tori Amos. Great artistic performance using two types of keyboards. Notice the stylistic changes a la Aomi. Talking dirty to me now. Also Waitress by Tori Amos. In this one, notice the great communication and interplay between Tori and Matt Chamberlain. This is what happens when there is so much talent in the room, it becomes a fun experience even for the performers. This one is a builder that ends up becoming insane at the end. Okay, two requests for Tori Amos. I think what I'm going to do here, Mike, hopefully this is all right with you. I'm going to split these up. I'm going to start with I... I'm going to start with I-I-E-E-E. -E -E. And then I will save Waitress for next time. Just to, just to split them up, just to break out the Tori Amos love. Now, I already have done one of your Tori Amos picks, which completely blew me away. That was Precious Things Live. Now, if you didn't catch that one, I can tell from the views, a lot of people missed that video for some reason. I don't know why. I have Matt Chamberlain on drums and it's Tori Amos. Go and check it out. It was truly phenomenal. And if I can name drop it just for a minute, I did have Tori Amos's current drummer, Ash Sohn, on my podcast. That's the NZ Drummer Podcast. Uh, a year, two years ago, I don't even know when. A while back now. NZ Drummer Podcast, check it out. Absolutely phenomenal discussion with one of the premier session drummers in the world right now. But we're gonna go back and check out Matt Chamberlain again, who was the drummer at the time. So we're going back to 1998. Cannot wait to check this one out. Thank you so much, Mike Gammon, for the support. Let's hit it. <laughs> Texture on the drums. Now I talked about texture on the previous Matt Chamberlain, Tori Amos video. Brush on the left hand, texture. Always thinking, always thinking about sounds and how we can create the exact vibe that the artist wants and the artist is gonna need. You hear those backbeats? You hear how textured and soft and full and big they were? Playing with the brush on the left hand. I think, I think he's playing with a stick on the right hand. I'm gonna back it up. how Tori Amos embodies the music like she moves like she is feeling the groove ah oh, this is just already so good guys I'm gonna try to not stop this too much remember original video link in the description of all my videos if you do want to watch this without some bald kiwi dude talking all over it check out the original video link please of course but you do want to watch it with a bald Kiwi dude talking over it. So let's carry on. Doing dips. What a groove. Oh, those chords on the bass. Man, who is this bassist? She just looped that vocal. I think she did. Ease and I do my 
sublime vocal break. Wow. How have I missed Tori Amos this whole time? This is wonderful. Again, talking about texture, Matt Chamberlain switching between the cross stick click sound and the actual backbeat on the snare. Always thinking he's all over the kit, exploring all these options. Doesn't have an unusually large kit. He's actually got quite a small kit from the looks of it. It's not the size of the kit. It's what you do with it. Savage, savage backbeat kick in. Keep an eye on Matt. Middle of the screen to the right. Listen to this entrance, re-entry on the drums with this new sound. We are exploring all kinds of sounds here. And are we really doing this with a four-piece band? the sound of the drums changes between these two sections i'm talking about the uh, not just the volume but the actual sound of the drums he's not playing different drums but listen to how different the sound he's achieving and getting out of the drums is here But I 
He's playing left hand stick, right hand hand here. If we've ever needed a drum cam, it's right now. going into here again check out the transition the note placement and the space it's very machine like but human there is a machine like quality about this feel he goes into it's kind of reminiscent and typical of the era of the late 90s to go into the sort of very compressed filtered kind of sounding drum part Except he's achieving this all live acoustically. Listen to the sound change again here when he starts um, hidden toms and just this spacing, which is just glorious. So this just flowing. You know, this little part of a video where I might be a little bit tongue tied and sort of still sort of catching my breath from what I've just seen, it's kind of a part of a video that I would normally edit out. Um, I did get a really interesting message actually from someone who said, hey, I want you to leave that bit in. You know, it's almost like a post-match interview where you catch up with an athlete <laughs> And they're all puffed and, and everything's really raw and, you know, you stick a mic in their face and ask them, you know, what they thought of it. So whoever that was, comment, please do comment if that was you, because that was a great comment. I should know who that is, but I can't think of the top of my head who that was. You want the real raw, unfiltered, unedited hot take on what I've just seen. Now... We've got all kinds of voices going on here, but like, you know, Mike Patton, we've got a bit of a Kate Bush style approach. I'm not saying she's copying Kate Bush, just reminds me of Kate Bush a little bit, that high vocal register. But we've got different voices. We're reaching for different keyboards, different sounds. So all kinds of different um, sort of black and white, good, bad kind of, there's like a, call and response going on constantly 
throughout this and I feel like even though I've only checked out two of Tori's videos a duality in her performance perhaps in her personality that's kind of what I'm that's kind of what I feel that's kind of what I'm getting now Matt Chamberlain is capturing this by use of texture by thinking about his drum sound and thinking about his drum parts thinking about not only sound in terms of what part of the kit do I hit how do I hit it how hard do I hit it am I hitting drums right in the middle or am I edging them a little bit and getting some overtones am I hitting things softly with sticks am I hitting things really heavily with brushes is all kind of contrast and contradiction going on in the plane here which is just it creates complexity it's absolutely fascinating what's going on here by the way if you're not familiar with Matt Chamberlain um, he is still one of the most in-demand session drummers of all time to this day 2023 he is still incredibly respected and people begging him to play on their albums because of this who would not want this level of depth and thought and musicality and execution let's not forget that it's great to have all these ideas you've got to be able to execute on them as well because that's what he's doing here it's just stunning absolutely stunning another thing that was characteristic of the time 1998 I'm thinking of Porter's Head as well perhaps was to in post production you might squash the drums maybe not for a whole song but maybe for a section now the intro of song 2 by Blur I, I think I think of that song when I think of this kind of effect have a listen to that intro that was really characteristic of like an early 2000s late 90s um, heavily filtered heavily effect hit drum signal they'd squash it they'd compress it perhaps take some of the highs out then like a, a really filtered strange squashed signal because then when the real big acoustic uh, the big high quality studio sound kicks in it opens things up and you get this big opening up of the sound this is what Matt Chamberlain is doing here live so I mean it's not something that I've I've tried to do this as well it, it is it is a thing that you can do this live it's just the mastery there's one bit where he's hitting the drums with his hands obviously getting a very soft attack and, and, a, and a low volume on that hand with a loud backbeat and then without even you noticing he's got a stick again and he's playing and then he's got a brush and then it's just there is just so much going on uh, another thing I was watching this performance thinking imagine covering Matt Chamberlain on this gig Imagine your buddies with Matt, you're a drum buddy of Matt's, and he says, hey, you know, I've got blah, blah, blah on, I can't do the Tori Amos gig on, you know, next month, are you cool to cover me? And then you check out what he is doing, and you, uh, you know what, man, I, I don't know if I can cover you, because <laughs> there is so much depth, I'll just use that word, depth, in terms of what is going on. Yeah, I could gush about this on and on, but I think I'll leave it there before I further embarrass myself. Mike Gammon, thank you so much for the pick. Your picks are always incredibly thoughtful. I really appreciate the support. And um, yeah, cannot wait for the next one, which you've already made the request for, which is Waitress. I'm assuming it's from the same concert. Hopefully it's from the same concert because this whole concert looks like it's worth a watch. If I've got one complaint, I wish there was a little bit more dedicated Matt Chamberlain cam. But hey, it's 1998. You just got to take what you can get. 
and let your brain and your imagination fill in the rest because it's just incredibly special. Guys, original video link in the description of this video. As with all my videos, please do go along, support the artist. And if you're feeling generous, please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and leave a comment with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon, it's just $5 a month. You get access to all the blocked videos. If you, like Mike Gammon on this video, have a specific request that you wanna guarantee gets on the channel, I can only guarantee via the PayPal link. It just helps to keep the lights and the mics on here, so that's the only way I can guarantee getting on the channel. Remember, you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full and free 30-day trial over at Drumeo. Go learn from the world's best drummers, singing lessons, guitar lessons, piano lessons, and so much drum education material that you will not be able to do half of it in 10 lifetimes. Trust me, it is truly phenomenal. They have thought of everything over there. Go and check it out, it's free. 30 days to check it out. You can go download a bunch of songs. Look, it's plenty of time to decide whether it's a good fit for you and your drumming education. Guys, until next time, take care out there. Keep chopping wood, drums and coffee. Ciao.